Hey everybody, it is time for another good word from God's Word. Sorry I missed last week, it was a crazy Saturday and I just couldn't get to it, but I am here again and thank you Pastor Tommy for picking up the ball and continuing to move on. So we are now looking at Exodus chapter 22 and uh, if you've been reading along with this chapter day, it's not the best reading. It's like, oh my gosh, what's happening right now? Why are we doing this? Why do we even need to know this? What's so important about this? And then and then comes the other question uh, because what we're in is this is Moses coming down from Mount Sinai. And famously, when he came down from Mount Sinai, he came with the Ten Commandments, but he came, which was great. But I like what Andy Stanley says about it. He says that the Ten Commandments was really just the table of contents, because what happens in the rest of Exodus from Exodus, uh, uh, what happens in the rest of Exodus from chapter twenty all the way through Leviticus, and then he reiterates himself in Deuteronomy, is uh, this is the law. This is how we lead as people this is this is how we live as israelites of how we live and so when you read this as a christian we have to ask ourselves the question do how much of this is for me and how much of this is just the israelites like and, and a lot of times a lot of the politically correct uh, discussions we've gotten into especially when we talk about like homosexuality or uh or plural marriage or or this other or like the, the worshiping other gods and all that stuff like how like what's for us in the old testament and what's not is it all just what jesus said or is it all just or can we take this old testament stuff and bring it in and this is the problem that a lot of us have because we don't understand uh the difference between what's happening in the old testament and what's happening in the new testament of like how how does this law work and and what's this tension back and forth as as we go so uh, we have to uh and as we uh, back and forth and how we go like which one should we follow so let's look at exodus chapter 22 at some of these laws that are written here and see if we can kind of figure out what uh what we can do what we should follow and what we shouldn't follow so let's look at 22 verse 1 just right off the bat it says whoever steals an ox or a sheep and slaughters it or sells or sells it must pay back five head of cattle for the ox and four sheep for the sheep now uh I, I can tell you that across the street from me, I don't. I live in a very urban area, but there are there are sh cattle less than a mile away from my house, and that is weird. Okay, I've lived in cities all my life. It's weird that there's she that there's cows there. This law doesn't apply to me because I don't have cows and I don't have sheep, and I'm not messing with the cows and I'm not messing with the sheep. And let them do what they do. Now, if you live over in Mayake, hey, you got cows and you got sheep over there most likely. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. See, this is the type of law that we look at. And that these are ritual laws or almost constitutional laws. It's not for us as Christians. It's for the Israelites. This is specifically for them, for how they are to manage their nation and how they are to manage, like, what happens when this happens. And since they were an agrarian society, they were hurt herders having a law in the books about how to how to deal with when the oxen disappears when the sheep disappears is super important so this this law this is not the type of law that's for us so then let's go further down in exodus 22 and the header in my niv niv bible says uh it says social responsibility so now we're getting into like these are still ritual laws okay so we're not following we don't necessarily have to follow these but there are some promises there that we that we need to keep in mind so uh th this one uh this one from verse 22 uh, chapter 22 verse 22 it says do not take advantage of the widow or the fatherless if you do and they cry out to me i will certainly hear their cry my anger will be aroused and i will kill you with the sword your wives will become widows and your children fatherless oh snap let's not mess with widows and fatherless and i would in our modern times i would certainly lump this uh the widows i would lump those into like single mothers like don't take advantage of them and when you look at this stuff like how does this all work let's look at what jesus said jesus said that uh, when they asked him what the greatest commandment is because they're looking at exodus 22 and they're looking at 20 and they're looking at all these things like what is the greatest commandment and jesus said love your lord your god with all your heart soul mind and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. All of the law and the prophets 
rely on these two commandments, all of the law and prophets. Okay, so law and prophets, when he's talking about that, he's talking about Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, okay? And then the rest of the Old Testament, that's what he's talking about. It all hangs on those two commandments. So like, if you love your neighbor as yourself, and then he goes on and tells the story of the uh tells the story of the good samaritan which is the like the story that we use for defining that everyone is our neighbor so it, it says don't take advantage of your widow or the fatherless if you're a widow or you're fatherless or you're a single mom or you you got a kid like you don't have a dad like don't take advantage of because that's not loving someone as you love yourself so like look at the words like let's do what's right let's care for other people let's do what we can to show the love for others just as jesus has shown his love for us because he actually took the whole thing and wrapped it all up in a nice little package for us at the last supper which we're looking at because here comes easter he did wrap it up in the last and the uh wrapped it up and saying N uh, love one another as i have loved you and then he went and gave his life for us on the cross so when we're looking at the question, what it, what kind of laws do I follow in ritual and what do I follow, what are ceremonial and what are actual spiritual laws that we should follow? Look at the difference between the two. There are some that are just ritualistic, like this is how you worship God or this is how you run your country. And then there's others that's like, oh, like God really does care about this. This is how we are to live. And it's a fine line. So ask some questions, look it up. Uh, look it up, Google it, ask a pastor, ask me, ask somebody, what's the, should we follow this or should we not follow this? Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to mix it up. We don't want to mix Old Testament with New Testament because then all kinds of legalism and crazy stuff ends up happening and we, we just get off course. So that is today's good word from God's word. I hope you have an awesome Saturday. Thank you for those of you who helped out with Farmers to Families. Uh, and City Serve this weekend is where we gave out food. If you haven't heard, we're giving out uh, over 1,300 boxes of food every single weekend. If you didn't come and pick it up this morning, we will have it in service. And then again, on the following Sunday, we are giving out another million dollars worth of food. We want you to be a part of that. And hey, uh, and check out this Sunday. We got services at 9 and 11 or uh, online and in person. Hope you're having a great week and we'll see you back, back here next time.